Well, good morning. Thanks for joining us for Kids Worship Online. I'm so glad you did. We are in the book of Ruth and we are going through our study. We're on the third week. The first week we talked about how God is faithful. The second week we talked about how Ruth is faithful, how she was loving and kind and compassionate towards her mother-in-law, Naomi. This week we're going to talk about Boaz. Everyone say Boaz. Good. Boaz, we're going to meet in the second chapter of Ruth, and we're going to see that he is faithful. So to kick off, let's begin with prayer. Ready? One, two, three. Father, we thank you for this day, for your blessings, for this time together, Lord, as we look at your word and learn how another man was faithful to you. And we want to be faithful. We want to trust you. We want to love others today, Lord, as we continue to navigate this life, we just pray that you would give us the strength to do it and that we would just really enjoy our time with family and friends. We thank you for your blessings. Amen. Okay, so Boaz, we're going to meet in the second chapter. So as you know, Ruth and Naomi have traveled back home to Bethlehem or back home to Naomi's home, right? And Ruth and Naomi are kind of finding themselves in a difficult spot. They can't just like go and get a job or go and buy a house. They kind of have to rely on other people to kind of help them. So Ruth goes out to a field and she is going to go behind the workers and harvest the leftovers and then she'll take that home. If she doesn't do that, then they are not going to have food and they'll starve. So she happens to go to a field belonging to Boaz, right? So we know that happens happenings don't just happen right God works through things so God has helped Ruth get to that field and she's picking up and then Boaz comes and he comes to the field and he says the Lord be with you to all the people working right and then they answer the Lord bless you and then he sees his overseer who helps find everything and kind of watch the workers and he says who's that young lady and that was Ruth and so that's the first time that he hears about Ruth he knows that she is coming from a foreign land that she's helping her mother-in-law and that she loves her and so Boaz decides to help her and so he tells this guy in charge his buddy to put some extra on the ground right and help her get a little bit more and then he tells her to stay in the field that he, she's in and that she'll she can just work in his field and collect what she needs to collect also I'm going to show you a little clip about this portion of scripture so take a look It seems that Israel's famine has finally ended, Natan. Uh, not everyone has recovered, Boaz. Many people have come to glean from us this year. God has blessed us with more barley than we need. Should we not share that blessing with our neighbors? Yes. And the wheat is nearly ripe. We'll be harvesting that soon as well. Natan, who is that young woman over there? Ah, she is the young Moabite woman who came back with Naomi. I think her name is Ruth. So that is Ruth. Natan, let her gather grain among the sheaves. Pull out some heads of barley from the bundles and drop them on purpose for her. And make sure the men don't bother her. But there are dozens of gleaners out there. What is so special about this one? Do as I asked, and don't give her a hard time. Her life has been difficult enough. So that just gives a, a little short idea of what it would be like living in there. And so you can see in that clip that Boaz showed compassion, that he was faithful to God in loving other people, and he showed compassion and love towards Ruth. And it's a perfect example of how God works through people. So here's a man, he has these fields, he's probably pretty wealthy, and he steps in and he helps someone that doesn't have much. And next week, we're going to see the end of the story. We're going to see 
the conclusion with three chapters three and four about how the whole story wrapped up and we're gonna see how God's faithfulness to Ruth and Boaz leads to a legacy so take some time as a family to you know go through your reading plan and you just read a little bit each day and you'll get through the whole chapter the whole book which is only four chapters and do the discussion guide take some time to do some games together have fun as a family enjoy the weather and just think about how Boaz is faithful and and fulfilled what God was calling him to do and how we can be faithful to and live out the calling that God has called us maybe that's being nice to a neighbor that's not so nice or maybe that's calling someone on the phone that you haven't talked to in a while listening to your parents is being faithful to God or your grandparents playing nicely with siblings right I know that's a struggle sometimes so there are things that we can do in our own lives to show God that we can be faithful and loving too so we'll see you next week have a great day Bye!